Are you frustrated because you lose games that were supposed to be free wins? It is painful to always have bad teams and teammates. Do you tilt a lot in solo queue? My name is Bizais and today I will share with you my 8 years experience as a League of Legends player and a 4 years experience as a professional coach on how to avoid tilting in solo queue and having the best mindset to climb in solo queue. Before we get started, if you find value in my content, make sure you subscribe and like if you don't want to miss out on any news on how to improve in League of Legends. Let's get right into it. Tilt is a poker term for a state of mental or emotional confusion or frustration in which a player adapts a suboptimal strategy, usually resulting in the player becoming overly aggressive. Tilt is also common in uh, esports, in League of Legends, uh, and we can also define it to when players lose control due to anger. Uh, the most extreme reaction is obviously like rage quit where people try to like quit or uh, even sometimes physically turning off the device or breaking apart like a monitor or something so that's the very very extreme extreme state how can you improve it and how can you actually fix this in league of legends so usually in league of legends the mental is actually very very important especially when i coach players that are in master tier or diamond one uh, they have big problems with, on like the way they really view the game the way they really approach the game, their attitude, their mindset towards it, and they really think that winning equals improving, which is the first big mistake uh, that people do, is that they play good, or uh, they don't play good, but then they lose, and they think that they, they just lose because they didn't play good, but then when they play good, and then they are not winning, then they are just, they are just frustrated, uh, which is not really the right thing to do. First of all, not tilting is extremely important or like at least knowing how to manage the tilt is extremely important because this can influence your games tremendously there are people that are hard stuck in diamond one because of the tilt they are master tier grandmaster challenger players they are hard stuck in d1 because they are riding they are frustrated with their teammates they don't know how to mute they don't know how to actually uh be patient with their teammates and like not really type back and make sure they don't they don't really take uh, the, the other person seriously and they just press the mute button that's all so the tilting can really influence you especially in higher elos diamond one plus but also in bronze silver gold uh, like tilting like playing on a loose you can make a huge difference if you climb and if you improve in the game uh, a lot first tip to avoid tilting you want to ask yourself why do you play this game do you play to improve? Do you play to climb? Do you play to really get better? Do you really play to just have fun? You really want to ask yourself, why do I play League of Legends? When you go into a game, it's very, very easy to say, oh, I lost because of my bad teammates. Oh, I just like I'm frustrated because I just lost. But the thing is, if you just blame, oh, my jungle is bad. Oh, my, my top lane is just inted or my bot lane inted. Like, why do you play this game? If you just play to have fun, for example, why do you care that your bot lane just inted? If you play to improve, then why do you care that your bot lane is 0-10? Maybe you also didn't perform as well as you could have performed at your maximum potential. So next time, the first tip is next time when you go into a game and when you lose it and when you have a, like a bad teammates and they are behind, ask yourself, what could I have done to uh, prevent the mistakes of others? Could I actually have prevented them? If not, what could I have done uh, in the 1v1 matchup or what is it? Uh, that I could have actually influenced of the game to to have higher chances to win the game. Don't just focus on oh my bot lane is bad, my 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 top lane just died, or like why do you play the game? If you're just going to be in this circle of blaming others and not taking responsibility, you're never ever going to climb and you're never ever going to improve. The the rule of thumb here is that you really want to pay attention on what you could have done to make it better, on what you could have done to prevent it, and you really have to ask yourself why do I play this game? Do I play to improve? Okay, then I queue up and I want to improve. Don't care about winning. Don't care about losing. I want to improve. And when I go by the end of the the game and I see there my stats, I see I have better farm, I have a better damage, I have better uh, better influence on the game and I actually have better KTA than the enemy mid lane, then that means I did my job. And if you're doing your job consistently, you will win more games. The second thing that many people do, and it's very hurting them a lot, is that they focus on externals. They focus on the peop what do the people do uh, and what do the team actually does. Like, is the jungle going to come? I pinged him and he didn't come. My support is not really following me. 
uh, I'm trying to push but I have a bad support, he doesn't listen to me or I have a bad jungle or I have a bad top lane or we don't have a tank, why are we full AP? Those things are things that you can't really control. I mean, yeah, you're trying to ping your jungle to come to gank you, but he doesn't come, what can you do? Just cry in the wall chat and just type right, 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 oh, you're fucking bad and like, how is that going to help you? That's going to just tilt yourself because when you're going to write, the moment when you press enter to write down the thing that you're going to write down, that moment you will tilt yourself. So the, the, the thing that you're going to do to you is that by trying to tilt others, by trying to flame others, you're basically tilting yourself. So that's why writing and just trying to, uh, trying to put negative emotions on others is actually going to reflect into your mental state being, uh, being influenced and you're going to have less chances to actually win that game. So make sure you avoid focusing on externals and again, just ask yourself what what did I learn in this game? Okay, I lost, okay, my bot lane is 0 10. Like try to just look at the facts. Hey, my bot lane is 0 10, my top lane is 0 10. It's okay, this wasn't a winnable game. Not any game, not every game is winnable. Faker has 52% win rate, that's fine. He looks for improvement. There are many players that have 55, 53, 56% win rate. So that's normal. Of course, some of them, they have 80% win rate until master tier. But the rule of thumb is that the game is, like not every single game is winnable. That's really what it is. So what you want to ask yourself is that you want to ask yourself, what did I learn in this game? And you want to look only at what you could have done. And again, remember that playing good does not equal winning. And winning does not equal improving necessarily. You just have to look at your progress objectively and see and, and ask yourself hey last last month i used to play fees i used to be this good on fees right now i'm this good on fees yes i was on a loose streak but right now i'm playing better i'm feeling better i'm looking more at the wave management i'm looking more at killing my opponent at level four and i'm playing just better so don't get don't get fooled in this thing of oh if i'm winning i'm i'm improving i'm doing good or if i'm losing i played fucking bad no there are always exceptions to this rule and again the things that you need to do and remember is that you need to always ask yourself what did i learn in this game it's very 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 important the third thing that you can do to actually um, be less tilted in your games or at least try to minimize uh, it is that you can actually vod review your, your games what do you mean by that so by the end of the game let's say you just lost the game and you were 0 5, 0 4, or maybe you just did good and you just lost the game, it can happen. Uh, you want to go into the game, download the game and just look, just isolate yourself, just analytically look at yourself, look what you could have done and look to see what, what again, uh, what decisions or what macro things you, you could have actually influenced by yourself. Look at your champion and many times when I played, even when I play in lower Eros, let's say I play in silver, gold and I sometimes lose, I mean, it's normal, I'm not going to have 100% win rate in, in gold or it's impossible no one can have it so i'm losing and then i'm like oh of course my first instinct is like oh my team is fucking better but then i'm like no maybe i just didn't play good and then i go into the replay and I, and i'm watching myself and i'm like what the fuck am i doing here i'm just doing so many huge mistakes and i see that wait maybe maybe it wasn't just my team maybe 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 it wasn't just my team and this is the mindset that i had as well when i was silver gold platinum i was like hey i lost maybe it's my team but then I, I was like hey but how can the players be challenged so how can they climb that fast how can players be bronze and then other players can be platinum and other players maybe i don't deserve to be a platinum maybe i don't because i always okay I, I always thought oh I'm, i deserve to be better i deserve to to uh, to be in platinum but when i'm silver because i have bad teams and i was like the moment that i said hey i'm just fucking bad i need to take responsibility on my games it's not my team it's me yes that that hurt me because that hurt my feelings well i was a silver player but then instantly in one year i was diamond instantly why well i was just playing to improve and look on what i can do better and i stopped losing focus and looking at our other teammates uh fault so the third mistake do VOD reviews so you can see what you could have done better in order for you to actually see your mistakes and minimize uh, the tilt that you're going to have in your games. The fourth thing that you can do to minimize a little bit of your uh, tilting experience is that you want to take breaks after a lot of games. I see this a lot. Many players, they have five games in a row, lose trick, six games in a row, lose trick, and they use the casino um, strategy or the casino 
mental state. With the casino mental state is like, you go to the casino, you have $100, you try to bet your $100, and then what's going to end up happening is that you're going to lose those $100, and you're going to be like, hey, I've, I ca I've came this far, I have came here for, like, I wanted to win, I had $100, I mean, right now I lost them, but I want to win them back. I mean, I can't just go home and like tell my kids that I, I just lose hundred dollars. I just have to like make it back, of course. And what do you do? You just put hundred more dollars, and then what's going to end up happening is that you're going to lose that hundred dollars. So you basically lose two hundred dollars, and then you're like, oh fuck, I just lose two hundred dollars. Okay, I, I guess I'm just going to put an, another hundred one more. Maybe I win five hundred this time. And it is casino mental state. That's for AL LP in the game as well. Right? Like you lose two games in a row, you're like, oh, I'm going to go to, oh, no, I'm not going to go to sleep, man. I, I have to play. I'm tired. I know I played six games in a row. I just lost. I know it's bad. I know uh, I'm going to just play. I know it's bad. I'm alone on a lose streak, but I can't sleep on a lose streak. That's the worst attitude that you can do. You have to have the discipline to say no. The chances that I'm going to win this game are like 10%. It's okay. Have to quit for the day. Tomorrow, I'm going to wake up going to have time, going to play two games, and I'm going to be focused and prepared, and I'm not going to play on tilt. So the thing that you can do is that you can actually take breaks. Uh, after you lose two games or three games in a row, you can always take breaks. F even fifth, so obviously you can take the whole day, or you can just take 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, whatever works for you. Just try to do something else with your brain, like maybe like go and take a walk, or maybe read something, or it could be anything. Listen to some music, try to do something that is a bit external, like maybe not use the mouse and the PC, but definitely taking a break can make a huge difference in your gameplay with, uh, when it comes to tilting. The fifth tip and maybe one of the most important thing is that you want to take control and responsibility for your games. In order for you to really win more games in solo queue and make sure you don't really uh, you, 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 do, you do maximize this moving forward concept and improving, you want to actually uh, have an attitude where you really want to center and concentrate all of your attention on what you can actually do in the game better. And this is what I call maximize your full potential. So when I go into a game, I'm not thinking, okay, I'm going to win this game and I'm going to... No, I'm like, hey, I will do everything that is my possibility. Everything that is in my possibilities to win this game. And I just use every single time when someone is dying or my teammates are painting or... I use the what now concept. What is the what now concept? The what now concept is a concept that uh, I invented and uh, I think many people should use it. It's when my teammates are in thing or when I'm, when I'm dying, I'm just using, I'm looking at the factual things that happen on the things that happen and I'm easily going to pay attention to the present moment and try to think about what should I do next. For example, if I go mid on Alistar and, and I'm going to end up dying and my mid lane didn't follow or whatever, I'll be like, hey, I died. Okay, I'm 0-4. It's fine. I'm very, very behind. No problem. What now? What should I do now? What is the best decision that I can make now? And then maybe I go mid again and I don't know, maybe I die again. I'm like, okay, no problem. I'm 0-5. What can I do now? It's fine. I'm 0-5 because I roam too much. No problem. I'm going to go on the replay on that. What now? What is the next decision? Okay, I need to just stick with my AD carry. Stop griefing the game. Stop hinting the game. Go with my AD carry and just play with it. Stop roaming. I need to just play safe. I'm going to need to wait a little bit and play, play a bit more disciplined and patient. It's fine. So this is the what now concept. You need to, like, instead of blaming my mid lane that he didn't follow, I can just be like, oh, okay, he didn't follow. It's fine. I'm not going to gank him anymore. Uh, or unless, unless it's super, super free, I'm going to stick with my AD carry and just play safe. It's very, very, very simple. And you also want to acknowledge that suffering and pain, like, those are the two two factors, two indicators that you're actually improving. Like. I've, I've, I've got so much flame in all of those sieges until I got to, to Master, to Diamond, to Challenger, to... I got so much, so many people flaming. Even right now if I go in Silver and I, I'm going to go in Silver with a 90% account, people will flame me something. They will do it. They, they have no idea how to play the game. So they will... Like it's so easy to... Like when you're dying as a support or as a jungle or as a mid lane to blame your jungle. Oh, this guy is fucking bad. He didn't gank. Everyone can do that. Everyone can do that. But what... what, what, what what everyone can't do is that they can't really think about what they can do better, as I said in the beginning. So it's really important to actually acknowledge that the, the fear and the pain and the suffering, if you're dying, you're most likely going to be like, hey, I died. Why did I die? Let's see. 
how can I make it better? What was the mistake? And you should always have this mindset of, oh, I died, okay. It was a bad room. Why was it a bad room? Oh, well, it was a bad room because I have, I'm have i playing against a Vladimir and Vladimir is not very gankable to the room. So I'm learning something. I'm learning something of the mistake. And through suffering, through the pain that I died and my mid lane didn't follow, I also learned something. So you really want to have this learning mindset. So this is super, super important for the mindset of solo queue. If you struggle with tilting and improving your solo queue, and you need a little bit more help from a professional coach. You really want to take the game seriously and you want to start having more fun while playing. You can book your own one-on-one -on -one coaching with me where I can give you a personalized solution on how to fix the tilting and get better in League of Legends while having fun. I already help thousands of people with tilting and improving problems. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and book your personalized session now.